Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'd like to show you, uh, explain you how to wire um, ceiling rows and also the one-way switch. So before I do this, I'd like to explain you uh, a bit about the lighting circuit. So this is the radial lighting circuit. It means it starts from the consumer unit, then from consumer unit it goes to the first room when you've got pendant with the, I mean ceiling rows with the pendant and the bulb at the end and also one way switch. So let's say this is in one room then from this room it goes to another room the situation is the same so connection in the ceiling rows pendant and the light bulb and the switch, one way switch from the second room it goes to another room the same situation and up to the end and it finish at the last point of the circuit so this, the whole circuit is protected by 6 amp circuit breaker the cable is 1.0 or 1.5 mm cable twin and earth it depends on the length of the, the whole circuit so uh, I'm gonna show you just that this situation, I mean, just how it's connected in one room. So ceiling rows, pendant with the bulb and one-way switch. So this is the standard lighting fittings in every room. So you've got ceiling rows with pendant light fittings at the end, one-way switch. Obviously these cables are buried in the wall and or in the ceiling. So now, when, let's open this. So what we've got here. In the ceiling rows, you've got four terminals. Earthen terminal, where all the earthen wi wires uh, should be connected. Then, neutral terminal, loop terminal, and light terminal. Here are the screws to screw all the wires. So let's see close how the neutral is arranged in these fittings. So this cable is coming from the previous room or fuse box or consumer unit. So neutral is going into the neutral terminal. Then here split and goes to another light fittings in another room. And also splits here and fit our light fittings and our bulb. So you've got neutral connected here. Now the line or life conductor. It goes from the previous light into this ceiling rows into the loop. Then in loop it splits and goes to another light fittings in another room. And also splits and goes to the one-way switch and it's connected to the COM terminal you've got only two terminals in a one-way switch COM and L1 so from L1 the same line con or live conductor returns into the live terminal and here splits and goes or fits the light fittings of the bulb. So now you've got a live conductor in this bulb fitting. So that's how it should look. Also then the earth wire you should connect it to the back box. There is an earthen terminal here. So it should be screwed here and also the green and yellow sleeve should be put on as well as on this earth wires. This one, because it's live, you should mark with the red tape in the ceiling rows and also in the one-way switch 